What's up gamers, Jem here, and this morning I have spent over two hours researching and documenting a lot of new Stadia features that can be found publicly on Stadia.com and using the Google Chrome Inspector tool. I am going to go in order from the first research I have found to the last. Demos and beta are confirmed for Stadia. The code I have found says, Please note that the Stadia version of the game is a demo only. Your account will not be transferable out of Stadia. There will be occasional server wipes that will delete your character. So this code is talking about demos and betas. It mentions that the Stadia game that you are looking at right now at the store is a demo or a beta. Also, your save data in the demo game will be tied to Stadia only and will not be allowed to transfer to other platforms for that demo. Also, the demo or beta you are playing will delete your game save files throughout the beta process or when the game has launched. Moving on further, I have made a fairly popular news video a few weeks ago about finding over 60 hidden Stadia store listings. It was the most effort I have ever put into a video and I'm honestly darn proud of myself for pulling a lot of hours spent on to that video. Anyways, it turns out there's an actual code that lists the entire store page. The entire Stadia store page. I didn't need to spend nearly two hours researching and documenting all those Stadia store listings from before. Also, not only does it tell me what the store listing titles are, but it also gives me the Stadia store listing number. So, naturally upon finding this part of the code, I looked into all of them just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. And it turns out that I didn't miss any Stadia store listings from my previous research. I even checked the two Stadia store listings that were unknown and blocked me from accessing. It turns out that those two are just placeholders and they literally have no value inside them for now. Moving on to the next part, I found some Stadia family share code as well as the icon for it. So your family members can see the games you have purchased in their library and instead of the play game button, they will see ask to play instead. I think that is a really cool and it's it's a really cool feature and it's straight to the point and convenient. Furthermore, regarding the demo and beta feature, I have found a code that says the developers have enabled a specialized mode that will allow you to select your character level and gear so that when the server is wiped, you can pick up where you left off. So the developers have the ability to allow players to save your game files during beta and transfer them onto the full launch of the game. The next codes I have found are over 10 string variables that are related to parental and other forms of restrictions. I will say them now in the order of my findings. The feature is currently restricted by parental controls. The feature is currently restricted because it's time for bed. Talk to your parent to extend your time for today. The feature is currently restricted because of its rating. The feature is currently restricted because this app is blocked. The feature is currently restricted because you've been banned. Please try again later. Text chat isn't available. Voice chat isn't available. Before you can do things like invite friends chat, Verify your account by using a valid form of payment to make sure, uh, sorry, to make a purchase or start a Stadia Pro trial. Multiplayer features are unavailable. YouTube sharing isn't available. Adding friends is restricted. Launching a game is restricted. Stream Connect isn't available. Those were the string variables in regards to parental and other forms of restrictions. I just want to point out why we would even have Stream Connect isn't available error. Let's use Division 2 as an example. That is an online game, that is an online only game developed by Ubisoft. Stadia has provided the tools to allow developers to add Stream Connect to their games. However, Stream Connect is not hosted by the developers or publishers. The service itself is from Stadia. 
So sometime in the future, there could be a moment where Stream Connect is simply not available. Could be a bug, could be temporarily disabled by Stadia for some reason. But anyways, that's why that error code exists. Just wanted to be clear that it's got nothing to do with the developers or publishers. The developers are the ones to add the feature into their games, but it's up to Stadia to actually make the service running. I also mentioned YouTube sharing isn't available. This is regarding the ability to share your captured clips directly onto YouTube in the future. And finally, Google Assistant. I have found a few codes for Google Assistant. One of them is enable the assistant in settings on a phone or computer. Now this is interesting because we can't enable Google Assistant on PC. It's completely greyed out and it tells us to enable assistant on mobile and that the PC version is coming soon when we click on it. I have also found something completely new to me. The two codes are sorry we could not find any helpful videos and also, sorry, we cannot find which game you are playing. Let's start off with the first one. Sorry, we could not find any helpful videos. Now this is basically when the player goes onto the assistant and says stuff like, how do I beat this level? So after that, Google Assistant will search your screen and find out which game you are playing on and also what level you are currently at and then search on YouTube on the clip that should help you on beating the level. This error is about not being able to find the clip on YouTube. The final error is, sorry, we cannot find which game you are playing. This is interesting because this clearly means that Google Assistant will not be communicating with Stadia. Stadia could just easily tell Google Assistant which game the player is currently playing and asking assistance on but it seems like it doesn't, and Google Assistant is designed to scan your current screen and determine what game you are playing. Now I also want to point out that this means that Google Assistant feature is not implemented by the developers, which also means that we can expect Google Assistant to work on every single Stadia game. Thank you for watching my video, this is Jem and I'll see you on the next one.